it's another day it's a beautiful day the name of the lord be exalted above all else uh, we thank you lord for your goodness we thank you lord for your mercy we thank you lord for who you are blessed be your holy name lord in jesus precious name amen jesus now my best friend I will always uh, walk out with him. He never get time to play me while you. I will always uh, walk out with him. Jesus, now my best friend. I will always uh, walk out with him. He no get time to play me while you. I will always uh, walk out with him. Jesus, now my best friend, I will always uh, walk out with him. He no get time to play me while you. I will always uh, walk out with him. Amen. Jesus is my best friend, is our best friend. We have made a promise that we will always serve him. We will always worship him. We will always exalt him. We will always propagate the gospel wherever we are. We will live the life that men will see and know that truly these are the children of the Most High God. By loving one another, by forgiving one another, by showing mercy, showing justice. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we bless you. It's another day. It's a glorious day. Your name alone be exalted above all else. Thank you, omnipotent Father. Ancient of days, we worship, we exalt. I want to say thank you. It's a dawn of another day. For the privilege to see this wonderful day for the privilege to be in the land of the living amongst the living not just amongst the living but in good health and in sound mind lord we say may your name alone be exalted above all else in the mighty name of jesus christ it's another beautiful day this is liberation and supernatural encounter the lord be exalted above all else in the mighty name of jesus we thank you, omnipotent Father. Today is another day we have an encounter with you, Lord. Today is another day where divinity will meet with humanity and our problems, our tears will wiped away, our sorrows be wiped away in the mighty name of Jesus. It is you that has given us praise. We exalt you, we adore you, we magnify you. Thank you, Lord. Rapatos elebarada, ejatatos elipatos ekelegede. Oh, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. What a glorious day. That we are alive today. We can breathe. That we, we, we can talk. Ah, The Lord be exalted, beloved of Christ. So many are in the hospital. So many are wearing. So many are dying. Many blind. Using oxygen. And, and we are here breathing freely. We are not buying air. This God deserve all the glory. You deserve all the glory. Yahweh, Yahweh. You deserve all the glory. Yahweh, Yahweh. You deserve all the glory. Yahweh, Yahweh. You deserve all the glory. Yahweh. Yahweh, I will sing of your goodness. Yahweh, Yahweh, I will sing of your mercy. Yahweh, Yahweh, if I sing it will be now. If I shout it will be now. If I dance it will be now. If I shout it will be now. You are the great and mighty God, oh, so greatly to be praised, beautiful in all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God, so greatly to be praised, beautiful in all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the joy of the whole world. Omnipotent Father, we give you all the glory. We adore you, Lord. Thousands 
tongues are not enough to express our love. A million words are not enough to say how much we appreciate this opportunity, this privilege. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Holy Spirit, because we are here. We thank you, our divine helper. We thank you, our ministry helper. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. I call you Ratosia Talabaradada. I call you Elifa Kosiata Liborosia Nishatata. I call you my ministry helper. I call you, I call you, oh, Shalababa, our light, Animanosia, Taya Labanosa, my spiritual director. Holy Spirit, I appreciate you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for the cleansing power of the Lord. We thank you for the cleansing power. Thank you for the forgiveness of us in Lord of oh God Almighty. Jepalosia. Thank you for the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. We glorify your name. We adore you. We magnify you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We don't deserve it, but grace rewrote our story. Your mercy rewrote our story. The blood rewrote our story. Thank you, many potent. Thank you, the King of Kings. Thank you, the Lord of Lords. Thank you, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Thank you, who was, who is, and who is to come. Thank you, our chief cornerstone. Thank you, our bread of life. Thank you, our living water. Your name alone be exalted. Our great provider, our chief advocate. We say glory, 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 honor, power, majesty be unto you. For you alone, you are Lord above all. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Lord, we thank you once again for as many that will join us physically, spiritually. We thank you for the offspring of Deborah. Have your way in our life and all that we do. Let your name be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. For our pregnant sisters, oh Lord, we ask, they shall deliver when it is time. No evil shall stand before them. They shall, oh, labati tabaladada. They shall be no obstacle. They shall be no death. They shall be no premature death. They shall be no miscarriage in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, oh Lord, for our single sisters. Believe in you, oh Lord, for their partner. Lord, we know, oh Lord, even our brothers, Oh Lord, believe in you, oh Lord, for their partners. We know, Lord, King of Glory, that you bless them. According to your word, he says it's not good for a man to be his own. That at the point of time, a man will leave his mothers and his father and shall cling to another. I ask, oh Lord, King of Glory, let this ones look at their spouse. Let these ones look at their partners in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, King of glory, for our beloved, O oh Lord, are into businesses. Father, I ask open doors. I ask for open doors. I ask for open doors. I ask for divine connections. I ask for ministerial connections for the ministers in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, for those that are in the prison. I ask, O oh Lord, for even those that have shown remorse. Lord, let there be mercy. Let there be, let your mercy locate them. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Le karato se te le baradada. Je paradosia. Le manamo se ke lege. E le patato si ta yalaba. I pray, O Lord, King of glory, for as many that have one thing or the other to do, I ask, O Lord, King of glory, you say you bless the works of our hand. Bless the works of our hands, O Lord. Bless the works of the hands of the offspring of Deborah. We shall not see shame. We shall not see financial shame. We shall not go about begging to eat. We shall not live on the streets. For as many, O Oh Lord, Talia Rosia, that are working, oh Lord, are working for someone, working for themselves, oh Lord, they shall not be cheated in any way. Nipato Satata, open doors, oh Lord, for those that are self employed, I ask, oh Lord, let it be connections, let it open doors, for those that are in the politics, oh Lord, Manima Sutayala, let it be open doors, let them be, oh Shalaba, shoot your children forth in the corridors of power, Niman O Sita. So when the righteous are on the throne, Maneko. That the people rejoice. Lord, put your children in strategic places in the authority of power. That things will change, oh Lord, to good. Is there anyone sick? I declare healing. I speak healing. I speak healing. Is there anyone afflicted? I speak, speak liberation. Is there anyone that is oppressed? I speak deliverance. Permanent deliverance.
give answer. He said, affliction shall not arise the same second time. Lord, I ask healing upon your children. I ask healing upon your children. I ask healing. Male tatarabano zika yalababa. Male aratua zika. Male tetebo zika. Is there anyone that the devil has held bad? Today, let there be lifting. Let there be liberation. Male. And is there anyone is depressed? Ah, shalabalabo shalabalabo shalabalabo. We are free by your blood. Because you were hung on the tree. He said, cause his womb was hung on the tree. You took our sorrow. You took our shame. You took our pain. You, you took everything that is not supposed to be us. Then you took all the bondage of the enemy and hung on the tree. Therefore, we are free. Your sons and daughters, wherever they are, they are free. The offspring of Deborah, we are free. The daughters of Deborah, we are free. Your ministers are free. Our families are free. Our loved ones are free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Omnipotent Father. Welcome once again. This is liberation and supernatural encounter. Today you will encounter the Omnipotent. You will encounter the Lord of Lords. You will encounter the Prince of Peace. And things will change for the better. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Welcome everyone. God bless you in Jesus' precious name. Today we are going to be praying on something. We are going to be praying on a topic that it held me bound when I was going through it. How to avoid becoming habitation of the devil. Sometimes, yes, this is our new beginning. The Lord has said he will do this, he will do that. But sometimes when the, the Lord says he's going to bless us, the devil comes in diverse ways to make sure those blessings don't come to us. We remember Daniel started praying and his, his prayer was answered right from the first day of his prayer. But he prayed until the 21 day, not knowing that the princes of Pesha had blocked his prayer, that the demon that be has blocked his prayer right from the first day. The devil is trying all possible means to make sure our blessings does not come to us. In our own lives, we could be praying, I would think that our prayers are not answered. But the devil has come. We, we relax. When you pray and you, you don't see what you are asking God for, Keep on praying. The Bible says pray without ceasing. If you stop praying, that is when you, the devil will just step in and become he will come into your place. You see, and this one is no more praying. Let me go and habitate down home. Habitation means coming to live in our heart. I pray as we do not cease in the place of prayer. The devil will have no place in our lives. We will have no place in our homes. We will have no place in our finances. We will have no place in our businesses. We have no place in our ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Avoid, how to avoid becoming habitations of the devil. Amen. The Bible in 2 Corinthians 5, 7 said, When you are in Christ, Wherefore you are not unwise, but understanding what will be will the Lord be. Amen. We should be of Amen. understanding that the Lord has given us. He said, when you are in Christ, you are a new creature. Have this understanding that the devil is fighting. He's like a wounded lion, drowning, seeking for whom to devour, seeking an empty home to stay. Today, the devil will not have any place in our life to abode in the mighty name of Jesus. One, how do we how do we avoid becoming the devil's habitation? We, are, we understand that when, when, when the devil comes and casts him away of the devil and he goes back to the desert roaming, you say, Let me go back to that my abode and see if if there is a place for me. And when the devil comes back and see that the place is empty, that your life is empty, empty without prayer, empty without being in the presence of God, empty without serving serving God, he will go back and bring another. Another seven, and they say the Bible said the worst for the end of that person is worse than how the person was. That shall not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus because we are warriors for Christ. He said we are his battle as the devil will come and come and come and come and will not see an empty house to avoid in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can avoid the devil abiding in your home by being filled with good things. Doing good things, propagating the word of God, speaking right. The Bible says we are ensnared by the words of our mouth. What you say is what you'll become. 
do you sit down and say it is over for me? I'm not saying anything, but the moment you begin to speak that, the devil has said, yes, this one is my own. I speak this thing into our lives. No negative words, no about to say that, shall come into our lives, shall be spoken from our lips. No man will hear any negative word. We shall not pronounce any negative word against our lives, against our children, against our business, against our ministry. From this day, in the mighty name of Jesus. Fill your life with good things. Fill your mouth with good words, positive words. Keep telling yourself, I am blessed. Keep telling yourself, I am I'm prospering. Keep telling yourself, God has blessed me. Keep telling yourself, my doors are open. Keep telling yourself, I am healthy. Keep telling yourself, I am wealthy. Hallelujah. The devil, wants, the devil does not want us to do anything good. Does not want us to say anything good. From today, every word that comes out of our mouth shall be the word that will glorify God and bring joy to our hearts. And the enemy will hear and run away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know if you are there with me. Shout from today, every word that comes out of my mouth uh, shall be positive over my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, shalom. The book of 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. The devil will not want you to know that. He will think it's because things are not going the way you expected. That means things are not right in your life. Tell the devil, get thee behind me. For as far as I'm in a new creature, this is my new season. All things are passed away. Poverty has gone on, on, on forgiveness is gone shame is gone tears is gone ah la, 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 la. and you see the devil running away from you i speak to our lives this day as we begin to say good things about our lives as we begin to propagate the gospel as we begin to tell people how faithful god is irrespective of the situation the devil will run away and our blessings will begin to locate us prettily and in this new beginning in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How again Amen. to avoid the devil being using you as his own? Amen. Number two, how do you avoid the devil using your life as his own? Begin to propagate, preach the gospel, preach the word. When you speak positive things about your life, when you say everything about your life, no matter the situation, you say, I'm blessed, I am blessed. The next thing, begin to preach the gospel. Preach the gospel, read the word. Read, soak yourself in the word of God. Amen. As you soak yourself in the word, the devil does not want to hear you preach the gospel. The devil does not want to hear you read your Bible. The devil does not want you to, 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 to soak yourself in the word. As you begin to preach the word, as you begin to soak yourself in the word of God, as you begin to stay in the place of prayer, the devil will run away. Your home will not be the habitation of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you look at those that the devil is the habitation, forget about the wealth and the riches they have. Oh, shall I read the book? They say the rich also cry. It's because the devil has taken over their home. What you see, the wealth and all that may be a mirage. They are not within them, they are not happy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Also, begin to propagate the gospel. Genuinely say, genuine happiness. Peace that no man can give will begin to come into your life. And the devil will say, no, this one is not my candidate. Today, I declare that our home, our life is not the board of the devil. The devil will not abide in our home, in our family, amongst our loved ones. As we preach the gospel, I will soak ourselves in the word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, shalom. Romans 8, 9 says, ah, But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you, now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. We must bring, we must say, I, the spirit of the Lord, you see, when I go, I will send a comforter. It is better that I live so that I send a comforter. Yeah, send a comforter. Let the comforter live in you. Speak the word that the comforter will be proud and say, truly, this is the son of God. And I declare this day that our lip, our mind, everything will be in the gospel of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number three, how to Amen. avoid becoming the habitation of the devil is by receiving a ah, prophetic declaration. Prophetic declaration. 
I declare life into you today. I declare prosperity. I, I, shall, I stand in the office of a prophet. I declare good things into your life. I declare joy in your life. I declare peace in your life. I declare prosperity in your life. I declare open doors in your life. I declare good things coming to your life. I don't know what you have lost. I don't know what you're expecting of the Lord. Today you shall come to you. It shall come to you speedily. It shall come to you speedily. In the mighty name of Jesus, the blessings of the Lord begin to locate you. I speak as a prophet. The joy of the Lord locates you. The wealth that comes with them from the Lord that added no sorrow locates you. It in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be peace in your home. Let there be joy in your home. Prosperity in your home. You will not lack what to feed. You will not stay under the, the sun. You will not live under the bridge. Shelter will not leave you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Good things will not leave you. Men will begin to bless you. Those are my declaration and more. The joy of God will begin to be your portion. He said, I will open the windows of heaven. I will shower down my blessings upon you. As we begin to speak positively in our lives as we begin to search the gospel as we stay in the place of prayer I I declare this day every blessings of the Lord as we begin to kill, continue to serve the Lord every of his blessings in Deuteronomy 28 1 to 13 be our portion be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as with the fourth one is being in the place of prayer every moment I know every one of the offspring of devil we are always in the place of prayer as we stay in the place of prayer every plans of the enemy to happy our home I paralyze it in the name of Jesus they will come and they will not have a space what they will see they will see the glory of the Lord because we have made the Lord a center place in our family because we have made the Lord a center place in our home because we've made the Lord a center place in our ministry because we've made the Lord a center place in our business the devil will not scatter our life the devil will not propagate his evil the devil will not come to destroy what the Lord has made in the mighty name of Jesus our life will be free our children will be sound in health. Our children will be the best among the best. Nominal seat wisdom, spirit, and excellence upon our children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, I want to tell you another thing. That no matter how, how to do, no matter how busy you are, take out a day in a week. Take out a day in a week and fast. Even if it's going to be a short prayer, just wait. Even if it's two hours, six to twelve, six to three, six to six. Take out a day. Say, when we are in the place of, he told if this disciple asked him, why is it that we could not cast away this demon? He said, this cannot go, except through prayer and fasting. Take out a day in your, in your life, in your home, be on fasting. And see how the power of the Lord begins to change things. Hallelujah. Stay in the place. This cannot go. Hallelujah. Except pray through prayer and fasting. As we pray, let us take one day, at least a day, and say, Lord, kill the flesh. When you are fasting, you are killing the flesh. Amen. When you are fasting, you are killing the flesh. Oh, shalom. When you fast and pray, you are killing the flesh. A prayerless Christian is welcoming hotel for roaming evil spirits. If you don't pray, if you don't fast, hallelujah, I know my daughter will say, oh, mommy, they are scared. Pick out a day. If you don't pray, if you don't fast, pick out a day. Ah, You become a hotel, inviting the devil to come in. I declare this day, your life will not be a hotel, inviting the devil to come and live. Your family will not be a hotel, inviting the devil to come and live. I speak as a prophet, and I declare your home is clean by the priestess of the Lord. Your home will be abide. You're the, the, the angels of the Lord live in your home. The spirits of the Lord take over your home and release your ministry angels. The Lord take a center place in your home. Your home have no place for the devil. Your ministry have no place for the devil. Your business have no place for the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ah, another way to not allow your home to be a place where the devil will come in and his court is through laying of hands. Jesus lay hands a lot. 
Jesus, Jesus taught us laying of hands, laying of hands. And I've, 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 been, I've been led in my spirit that every last Friday of the month, they shall be laying of hands. Laying of hands. He said, is there anyone sick? Call the elders of the church. Let them lay hands, pray and lay hands on him. And anoint him and the sickness. If it is the devil, the devil will flee away. Whatever sickness. So every last Friday, I have said the Lord, the Holy Spirit will lay hands through me. Every last Friday, they shall be laying of hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. And every first Friday, every first Friday, we shall be laying of they shall be laying of hands. And also we shall be taking our communion. Laying of hands and anointing and communion. First and Friday and last Friday of the month. And let's see how our life will begin to grow as it's growing. This is a new season for us. We must have to take it by force. The Bible has made us to understand that right from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violence taken it by force. We must take our possession by force. We must take our place by force. We must take our blessings by force. We must take our wealth by force. We must take the things that the Lord has kept for us in this new season by force. The devil does not want that. He wants us to sleep. I have prayed, I have prayed. I have not seen anything. So you go and sleep. And he said, yes, I have... I, I've, I've taken over this one. It shall not be in our lives and our families and our mysteries. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, I speak this day. In this season of new beginning, good things locate you. I don't care whatever. I want to tell you, beloved, listen to me and hear me well. Whatever you're saying now is a mirage. It's not the truth. What is the truth? The truth is what the Lord has told us in his word. He said, my thought towards you is good. Not bad to bring you to an expected end. What is the expected end of the Lord? It is joy. It is prosperity. It is to eat well. It is to look good. It is to do well. It is for our children to progress in their academic in, in their lives, in their health. That is the thought of the Lord. The devil came to kill, steal, kill, and destroy. That is when he came to give us life and give us more abundantly. Remember what Paul told Timothy. He said, your blessings, are like that, oh, your gifting is so plenty. But the devil and mastery becomes more. When you are the eye of the Lord, you become the target of the enemy. I'll stay in the place of prayer. I will stay in the place of fasting. I will begin to propagate the gospel of the Lord as we begin to speak positively into our lives. The enemy run away in the mighty name of Jesus. They will come and will not see anything vile in our lives. The devil will come and say, this place is so clean. I am not if the candidate of a clean place. That is what the devil will see in our lives. When they come and see the Lord, the light of the Lord shining in our lives, they will run away and release our blessings. They have all oh, the devil has no choice but to release our blessings. Foundation has no choice but to release our blessings. Altars have no choice but to release our blessings. Because we stand on the altar of the Most High God. There's above every other altar. Dear for the love of Christ, I declare this day, your life is blessed. 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 Your hand is blessed. Your seed is blessed. Your children is blessed. Your business is blessed. Your ministry is blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those that forgot you for good will begin to remember you. Those that say no to you will begin to say yes because the Lord is concerned. Because you have settled down and said truly, I am the son of God. I am a warrior for Christ. I am the battle axe in the hand of God. He said you are meant to pull down nations. You are meant to pull down principalities. You are meant to pull down powers. You are meant to be at the top, not at the bottom. I declare this day, whatever has held your bound, whatever spirit of disfavor, whatever demon has worked against your prosperity, against your life, against your spiritual gifting, today, by the power in the name of Jesus, I paralyze their work. I paralyze I paralyze their work. I paralyze their work. By the function of the Holy Spirit, the angels of war are released upon them. And we take our place. We are taking 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 our place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah, No more shall the devil has a, have a place in our home. Which means no more sickness. No more prosperity. No more luck. Amen. No more tears, no Amen. more sorrow, no more pain, no more my children does not understand. 
our children will be the best among the best. Our ministry will increase. Men will look for us for favor. Favor will begin to locate us. Doors begin to open for us. He said we are gods. I don't know. We want to have that. I am a God. I am co heir with Christ. It means if you are co with Christ, what he has, you have. Begin to declare it. Begin to tell yourself. No matter what you see, the love of Christ. Tell yourself this is a mirage. It is not what the Lord has said for me. The Lord said I am blessed. The Lord said I have peace. The Lord said I have good health. The Lord said I have joy. The Lord said I will prosper. Ah, in the mighty name of Jesus. In one minute, in the love of Christ, yeah. begin to speak in tongues. That is another way that the devil will run away. The devil, Satan, does not want to hear you speak in tongues. The moment you begin to blast in the realm of the spirit, they will take their flee. They will take their flee. Latina baro sata yala bara. Ele prakwasi ani mano zete. Jati tele baba kusia. Ele prakwasi kali abaro. You speak in tongues. It is a missile in the camp of the enemy. It become a a a a a nuclear bomb in the camp of the enemy. Manere ne bo shata yala bara. Rapo zi ataleko zata. Mashata la baro zete. Ele atu atati akasa kalege zegelege zegelege. Iratuta Oh, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Be love of Christ as you step out to your favor this day. Never ever forget this. We are the part of acts in the hand of God, commissioned to liberate. Therefore, none shall die young in our band. None shall die young in our hands. None shall die young in our lives and ministries. None shall die young in and around us. None shall be impotent. None shall be shall miscarried. None shall die. There shall be no still better. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are blessed. We are saved. We are favored. We are prospered. We are living in prosperity. We are overcomers. We are joyful. We are victorious Amen. and we are Psalm 91 equipped in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and by the power of the Holy Ghost in Yeshua HaMashiach and Messiah. In Jesus' glorious name I pray. Amen. Step out, beloved of Christ, into your blessings. Step, step out into your prosperity. Step out into your favor this day. Begin to tell yourself, I am blessed, I am favored, I am rich, I am prospering in the Lord. And see how he works beautifully well in your life. In Jesus' glorious name I pray. Amen. 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 Shalom. I love you, but remember, Jesus loves you most. Amen. Amen.